In this video, we're going to review how to access system admin tools in Valent I.O. Users who are familiar with the admin module and Valent Private Practice Suite will find that this functionality is no longer accessed via a separate Valent portal. It is now integrated within the main Valent I.O. application. However, only users with the admin access permission enabled are able to see the admin tools. The functionality of the admin tools is the same between Private Practice Suite and Valent I.O. So we're not going to cover how to use the tools within the scope of this video. We're simply going to review how accessing the admin tools is different in Valent I.O. If you are new to using the admin functionality in Valent, this is probably not the video you're looking for. Please go to our knowledge base, help.valent.com, to find more information on how to get started with the admin tools. That said, let's get started reviewing how we access the admin tools now in Valent I.O. First, you can see I have three windows open on my screen. On the top left, I have my Internet Explorer browser open. I'm going to go ahead and log in to Private Practice Suite with my admin account. You can see I'm taken to a selection screen where I can either go to my home page, the main EMR, or I can go to the admin module. I'm going to select the admin module. On the right, I have my Google Chrome window open, and I'm going to log in to the same account in Vela I.O. And remember, your username and password are the same for both Private Practice Suite and Valent I.O. You can see in Valent I.O. I'm taken directly to the dashboard. There's no special selection I need to make in order to access the admin tools. The navigation path you're used to in the Private Practice Suite admin module is the same in Valent I.O. There's persons and institutions, persons and institutions, treatment plan, Treatment plan, tools, tools, and system. These are these menus are available to admin users in Valent I.O. For the rest of this video, we're going to review each of the admin tools one by one. I also want to demonstrate how the options that are viewable in Valent I.O. are different between users with the admin permission enabled as we have here on the right hand side, versus disabled. So the third window I have open here in the lower left in Chrome, this is actually in incognito mode. So I have logged in with a non-admin enabled account. This is just a regular provider account so that we can kind of compare um, how things look in I.O. for a non-admin user versus an admin user. Let's start by reviewing how we access the admin options for the practice. In Private Practice Suite in the admin module, we go to Persons and Institutions Practice. And in I.O., we're also going to go to Persons and Institutions Practice. You can see how the Persons and Institutions Practice menu is available to non-admin users, but only admins will have access to some of the specific items within the practice preferences. You can see here we are on the Preferences tab. All of our administrative preferences um, in Private Practice Suite are reflected here on the Preferences tab for Valent I.O. And you can see the items that are specifically for the administrator are called out in their own section now. So while my, um, while my non-admin user can access some things like reminders, scheduling, clinical billing, they do not have that admin option. You can see I've scrolled down all the way to the bottom here. Uh, these admin tools are only viewable to my account here that has the admin permission. All of the other options you see here within persons and institution practice, statement messages, pay to address, etc. These have always been accessible in the full EMR application to non-admin users. So that's the same here in Valent I.O. Next, let's review how to access the admin options for facilities. In Private Practice Suite, we can go to persons and institutions facilities. And that is the same in I.O., Persons and Institutions Facilities. 
and I'm going to pull that up with my non-admin user persons and institutions facilities. Again, only admins are going to have access to some of the features in here. Let me actually just pick a facility so that we're looking at the same thing in each of these screens. So you can see in my admin accounts, I have my basic facility information as well as facility availability here. My non-admin user, while they have access to the basic facility information, they do not have that availability tab. So you can see again how the admin uh, access permission has limited what I can see here with my non-admin user. And this availability tab is used to set the office hours for your specific location. All right, next let's review how we access the admin options for providers. We're going to go to persons and institutions, providers. In private practice suite, we also had the option from the dashboard to select active providers um, to open that providers tab. In Valent IO, we're going to go to persons and institutions, providers. And you can see here with my non-admin user, I also have the providers option. Let's just pick a provider here. So really only admins are going to see the user account, permissions, and clinical decision support tabs. Um, the other options you see here for provider, nodes, availability, etc., those have always been accessible in the full EMR for non-admin non users. So you can see here what it looks like for my non-admin user compared to my admin. Next, let's review how to access the admin options for office staff. In private practice suite within the admin module, we go to persons and institutions, office staff. In IO, we also go to persons and institutions, office staff. Now you see in my non-admin user, I do not have the office staff option. So I'm not even going to see that menu option from the left hand side. Um, so in fact, you know, the rest of the tools I want to review here are actually not viewable by non-admin users at all. So just those first handful were viewable uh, in a non-admin user left hand menu. So I'm actually just going to minimize this um, this non-admin user screen to give us a little bit more screen real estate. They're not even going to see these next options that we're talking about. All right, so you can see now here, now that I'm in with, in my staff account, you know, the options between private practice suite and uh, Valent IO are going to look the same here. Great. The next tool I want to show you is unlocking locked user accounts. For that, we go to System, Unlock Locked User Accounts. And in IO, we go to System, Unlock Locked User Accounts. To configure clinical decision support rules by role rather than by individual user, we can go to System and CDS configuration by roles. And in private practice suite, we can choose uh, from that little menu, are we going to configure provider or staff? <clears throat> Here in uh, IO, we're going to go to system, CDS configuration by role, and here we, we have those grouped together just on separate tabs here. We configure valent access, which is used to enable and disable permissions for both valent support staff and any super user accounts you might have set up for your practice. We go to System, Valent Access. I want to quickly note here that editing these permissions can limit our support team's ability to access your account and assist you with troubleshooting. Um, you know, if you have a third party biller or other entity that's logging into your account uh, as well, you know, that would also affect their permission. So we recommend being extra thoughtful about any changes you're making here. Next, let's talk about accessing your treatment plan settings. In Private Practice Suite, we go to Treatment Plan Builder Settings. 
and in Valent IO, we go to Treatment Plan Builder Settings. Next, to add, edit, or disable custom demographic fields for your practice, we go to Tools and Manage Custom Fields. And in IO, Tools, Manage Custom Fields. Once our custom fields have been created, we are going to want to add them to custom tabs, which will then be visible to all of our users under persons and institutions patients. So we can add and configure these fields here. Next, we go to Tools, Manage Custom Tabs, and the same in Valent IO, Manage Custom Tabs to then uh, add and arrange the different fields we created so that those are then going to be viewable in the demographics. Finally, to access and customize your appointment categories, otherwise known as your color codes on the schedule, we're going to go to System and Appointment Categories. And the same in I.O., System, Appointment Categories. Here you can customize the text that is displayed along with the color category on your appointments on the schedule. I hope you found this video to be helpful in at least orienting you to the differences and how to access system admin functionality when using Valent IO. Have a nice day.